Hello, hello, hello. This is Tarot Spills the Tea. All right, so today we are talking about Wiley, all right? So I had been back and forth in my mind on whether or not I wanted to talk about Wiley from the Wiley Show. And, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, <clears throat> I still have a cold. It's still my allergies. And actually, it's allergies. It's not even a cold. So if you hear any coughing, you know, I'll try not to be near the mic. Now, back to Wiley, Mr. Wiley. So I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to talk about him because the energy he was giving me. Well, first of all, let me say this. Let me come out straight up and say this. I don't tune into his show. I just heard of him through All About the Tea, which was his purpose to reach people like me and like any any of you who are listening to me right now who only heard about Wiley the Wiley show or whatever and I don't know if he has a nickname Wiley Coyote because some people call him Wiley Coyote now I don't know if that's shade or um I don't know there's there are clearly some names that people are calling him that that is shade but and I'm not you know I'm not I'm not here to throw shade I am here with the tarot okay to break it down with the tarot and you know channeling his energy to to get down to people's real intentions tarot spills the tea on people's real intentions okay so I, like i said i was wondering what what was his drive what was his purpose what is he doing what why is he here you know what i'm saying and so it's just like a, a bunch of why 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 in my mind for which is why because i heard some of the things that he said and i couldn't even watch the entire um i watched uh bits and pieces when monica uh on her channel she finally speaks monica finally speaks and then they said a special guest and i see i was about to be mean and and my spirits uh told me my spirit told me not to do that not to say that um, let me put it nicely. Then this gentleman, um, I, I'm gonna say it how I want to. I ain't never seen him before in my life, and he he looked a little funny. Okay, that's the nice way I can put it. This little, and he looked like he might be short. You know, a little short, funny-looking dude came on there and started spewing a bunch of rhetoric, things that didn't make sense, hate towards people he never met, never talked to a day in his life. And I and then I couldn't even see him. I couldn't meet eye to eye with him. I mean, I'm like, what the hell? What the, who over there in that corner? What are you do? Who are you looking at? I I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. Who he was? What in the world? I, he just came up like kind of like the Tasmanian devil, like just a lot of energy, just spewing a lot of hate. And I wanted to stay away from that spirit. I didn't want to try to. I didn't want to try to channel any of that. But since then, I've changed my mind, and that's why we're here today. Okay, we're we're getting ready to get down to the bottom of it. And uh, but first, let me introduce myself. I am Indigo Sage, an awakened soul. All right, I do have a spiritually based website at unapologeticallysage.com you can also find me on instagram facebook and twitter under unapologeticallysage.com now let's go ahead and sage his ass out okay first things first please direct your attention to the red bar on the bottom of your screen no matter what screen you are looking at you should see a red bar on the bottom every time you see this bar apply these words to it this is for entertainment purposes only and every single word is alleged and not to be used as facts okay so this bar will be here it will be there you will see it if you see it at the bottom of the screen apply this rule to it all right now what we have here is um i i have my own set 
that I created. I channeled uh, the guardian angels and they led me in creating my own set of clarifier cards. And these are the ultimate clarifier cards. So there's 160 that are of general nature. And then I have some specifically for love, some specifically for um, career. And then, you know, um, some very deep ones that, you know, they're called concentration cards. All right. I said that to say this. This is um, they had me pick they being spirit guardian angels they had me get a career card um so I did that and they had me get three and I'll show you guys throughout the reading so they wanted me to open up with this one <coughs> excuse me price versus payoff is it worth it okay price versus payoff is it worth it and that is kind of like the focus of this because my my question is beyond why Riley why it and it and it kind of it goes both ways I'm asking really I'm channeling his energy of why does he want to attach himself so bad he seemed thirsty okay seeing him listening to him makes me drink like five bottles of water he seems very thirsty so I want to find out what is behind all the thirst, Wiley. Why are you so thirsty? My goodness. Um, and it just, and if I ever see him in life, I'm just going to just drench him with some water. I mean, because the man is thirsty. So, and I, and I don't know why I feel like he's short, um, which it ain't nothing wrong with somebody being short. But you know what? Let me tell you something. It, it, I feel like, I feel the Napoleon type of the, 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 all right. Anyone who may be, may feel like they're a short man, there is no, I have no, uh, I don't mean any offense, but there is something called the little man syndrome, okay? And it is real, and people be acting up. And it's also a little woman, too, because I had a little short woman boss one time, and she just wasn't nothing nice. And I know she was making up for her little short stature, statue, stature. But anyway, um, so it's not just men. So it's really kind of unfair to say little man syndrome. But I feel Wiley has a little man syndrome. Now, look, I don't know that man. I don't know him from whatever they be saying, a hole in the ground. But <clears throat> he got something because he's, it's like he's trying to make up for something. Anyway, price versus payoff. Price versus payoff. This is a question that he needs to be asking himself, but he's not. And maybe he is. But he's getting the wrong answer, let me tell you. Now, what you see below that is a quote, and I had to stop. I had to stop. I I don't know how it is. I clicked, and it was, like, right there. Because, like I said, I was listening to bits and pieces. But I clicked on that interview when his he came on. Because I just, like, kind of uh, fast-forwarded it to and just clicked on him randomly when I saw his face. Um, and this man, and this is a direct quote, he said, they're not a victim. They just want to take over Monica's platform and that's not going to happen. And then he went on to say, she's been doing this for eight years. She's a, uh, she's real in this game or whatever. You know, he just went on and on and on and on and was bashing Plez and then sometimes all the rest of them. But I heard a lot of Plez bashing and it was ludicrous, absolutely ridiculous behavior. And it just like begged the question of what the F is going on here, sir? What is going on, sir? All right. So and, and you know, pardon me, I, I, I kept away from him and his energy because it just didn't feel right. But I looked at it the other day and we're here now. Um. Plus, I'm going to touch on uh, what happened yesterday. You know, people are trying to find out who Monica really is. Nosy Ho was on there, which I tagged her. Go check it out. Go check out her um, her investigation skills, okay? Um, but I, what I saw, it's like she thinks it's, five different people she on the trail of five different people or something like that what I saw though yesterday and last night 
um, <coughs> excuse me, some woman, <clears throat> she just was swearing that it was her. The woman called in, the woman was swearing it wasn't her. And it, in my opinion, was disrespectful, rude, and harassment. I call it like I see it. I'm very unapologetic. And I I couldn't help but think, what if that's not Monica? Now, you know, yeah, there were lots of, of um, reasons to suspect that it was. However, there were also other reasons to suspect that it wasn't. And when you break this all the way down, what is it to you? You know, because if it's not and you've harassed this innocent person, that's awful. That is awful. That's awful um, and unfortunate unfortunate and then at a certain point you've got to just go ahead and say okay you know I'll, I'll let you go I'll let it go because even if it was actually Monica the avatar she's not gonna like do you honestly think okay so nosy ho don't and and this is what she calls herself she spells it any you can see the little hashtag she said make sure you give her credit if we talk about it and I hashtag there I'm giving you credit girl um, but it's H-E-A-U-X or something like that. Um, she calls herself Nosy Ho. And I, I, shit. And now I see why. I can see why. Um, just like Cardi B said. But um, and no offense against her because, you know, I am giving my unapologetic view real quick on this. And, and we're going to break all of this down. But the thing about it is, if it really was her... Like, no, Zio, do you really think that she's going to, in the middle of your badgering her, she's going to say, you know what? You got me. You got me. Yep. You got me. Y'all got me. You was up in there. Y'all got me. All right. It's me. What's up? Like, no, no. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out and knock it off. But it was entertainment. I'm sure that was for entertainment. But at a certain point, it wasn't entertain entertaining because it was just um, going over and over, saying the same things, doing the same things and stuff. So then, boom, bam, boom, we get Wiley. Now, I had already had this breakdown on Wiley in the making. And um, all of a sudden, her live, they're saying, you know, Monica talking already on his live, on his show. And then, you know all of that but I am going to go into that but let me tell you guys right now to all everyone who's listening and I appreciate you guys I am going to do what I had already had planned before all this happened last night now okay and that was breaking down what his original true gut energy aura reason being feeling break apart his you know I'm feeling his energy I, I channeled his energy to see what the f is his purpose with it's one thing to want to be on a new panel but to talk mess about all these people as if you know them or like they stole something from you you know um back in the day they used to say beat them like they stole something like what the hell is wrong with you Wiley Coyote all right I said enough. Let's jump in and sage it out. All right. So there will be six positions that I will go over. It's going to be past, present, best of, worst of, what's to come, and the bonus card at the end. So, and these are all in relation to Wiley's ultimate decision to get in good with Monica the Avatar. So, the tower came up, all right? 
And um, if you guys are new, just to let you know, I use variations. I always use variations of Rider weight. Sometimes I do use the actual original Rider weight, but I am all about imagery, all about imagery. All right. Imagery says a lot. And so I have dozens of variations of Rider weight and then spirit leaves me on what deck to get. Now, this deck and all the information can be found in the, the, the description box below. And I'm trying to speed up because I know I'm long winded and everything. And we already 15 minutes in, you guys. So I'm not trying to waste any time, but also so I'm trying to edit myself, but still include important information. So. As it relates in every single position and every single card relates to his decision right leading up to him being that oh so special oh so special because they was calling him the special guest Monica got a special guest special needs guest um <laughs> I wanted to know his energy leading up to him and right before he like what was his what was his energy that made him decide I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna talk a bunch of shit about people I don't know so this is what all of these positions are in relation to the past the tower card and it was in reverse all right but I'm showing it up right because the in reverse in this situation was him wanting to stop something so let's break this down it's an unresolved issue in his past that's affecting his current situation. Now, take a glance at the imagery. I told you guys I'm all about imagery. So there's a storm coming and this person knows it's a storm coming. And apparently back in the day, uh, you know, whatever century that is, they used to go to towers and castles for shelter out of the storm because it's supposed to be the most steady structure okay so that was a regular routine a regular practice and so you can see at the bottom you know the uh people they're marching on up there they just you know it's one two three oh, how many do i see one two three four five it looks like i see five people going up that little narrow twist and winding you know, pathway to the tower for safety, protection, all things good. You know what I'm saying? Get away from the storm. Okay. Then you see two people looking out the, the windows of the tower and they feel safe and they just looking like, here come these mofos, you know, wanting to get in my tower and, and feel all safe and stuff. You know, queen is at the very top. She has a crown very top looking down on everyone even you know this look like a dude in the uh, below the queen off to the right so check this out the ones inside okay so the ones walking up to the tower they don't know no better all right and that's that they don't know no better i'm done talking about them now the ones in the tower and especially that queen at the top and everything um, those two people, and it looked like a little boy in the in the window right there. Who's that picking through my window? Pow. Nobody now. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I grew up in the hip hop. Well, actually, I ain't sorry, but, you know, y'all gonna get a little bit, a little bit of everything from me. All right. So, um, and you better be glad I didn't drink no Red Bull. All right. Um, the queen at the very top, looking down on everyone. What they don't understand, that queen and that younger it looks like a younger boy they feel safe and they're judging everyone they already looking and sizing them up and judging everyone who's who wants to be in there with perceived safety what they don't understand is that that is the worst position and place they could be in during a storm it's just not safe at all it is on it, it doesn't it's not on built on solid ground it is on a hill and on the edge of a hill looks like it's made of clay or dirt when it rains it's gonna slip fall and come tumbling down all right this is an image before and this this tarot deck is the before 
um, what is it called? It's called the before tarot. And so any of you who are familiar with tarot, you already know that the tower, the original, the tower's already down and blah, 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 blah. This is before. So see, I was channeling his energy, just trying to get just what's going on in your mind before you, right before you went on to talk all that shit. But anyway, so it's reflecting that his past, and it was in reverse, which means he wanted to stop this. He, he had a tower moment in his past, and he's trying to stop it, trying to prevent it from happening, trying to mitigate it. You know what I'm saying? So now let's jump on to the clarifier. All right. I promise you guys, I am going to watch the time. All right. So I'm not showing my clarifiers because the clarifiers are, like I said already, the deck that I designed and you don't need to see it. I just need to talk about it. Okay. So, um, the past is clarified by a card that I titled family and friends, um, family and friend relationships elevate now. And I channeled those meanings. And this one is saying that a relationship or multiple relationships with fam family and friends were stagnant all right um so they weren't going good for him and what he's doing is he someone looked him in his face and told him something i don't know if they okay so i don't know okay they're saying he, that he wasn't going to be successful you know um it, you know what it's really hard to have a person who you consider family or a friend doubt you or put you down okay and so this tower in his past was brought on by a family or friend or more than one who looked him in his face and told him he wasn't gonna make it, wasn't gonna be successful, or you know, told him what he wasn't, he wasn't ish, or his his channel ain't ish. You know, they 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 talked some mess to him right in his face, and probably try their best to look him in his eyes. But um, the point is, is that he's he's trying to make up for that because that stuff, that tower moment in his past that he's trying to stop, it is now affecting his current situation. Let's keep going. All right, let's go. The card for the present greets us as the Ace of Wands. Check this out. Look at the imagery. They don't even have the wands in their hand yet, but they're reaching for it. Presently. Everything you've ever wanted is now within reach. Okay? So he was waiting and watching to pounce on anyone he was waiting for an opportunity okay um he has something in mind he has a plan a goal and for whatever reason he was waiting and watching to attach someone else he felt like he needed someone else's platform to help him reach his goal let's look at this clarifier okay so the clarifying card <coughs> excuse me Prayers go up, blessings come down. This one means your angels have heard your prayers and they are working on it. Watch for the signs. And remember that I said watch for the signs. It's going to come up later. Remember in the meantime, what you put out into the universe, the universe will, it will come back to you. So keep your thoughts, intentions, and actions positive. Not just because you want something, but to promote love, humanity, and and kindness towards everyone and again you guys these are my clarifiers that I channeled all right so here's the thing and all of the clarifiers except for like two no one except for one came out reversed and um and and this one ace of wands came out upright but here's the thing he doesn't have it yet <coughs> This is his goal. This is his vision. He's reaching for it, reaching, reaching, reaching. And remember, I said reaching, too, because there's going to be some reaching later on. There's going to be a message saying, pay attention to the signs. This was in reverse because they're trying to. They hear him. They hear the request. Of his higher power, that's how I'm going to put it. I don't know if he's religious or Christian or what he may or may not be. 
but it doesn't matter if he believes or not believe. I'm just saying what I channel and this is the message. He wants something and it's heard, but they want him in the meantime while they are working on it. <clears throat> because you see, you have to, you can't just like ask, oh God, I want a million dollars. Just give it to me. You know, it's a, a give and take relationship. You have to use your common sense and do what's best and show your faith, do what's right. You know what I'm saying? And he's not. Which is probably why they specifically told him to keep your thoughts, intentions, and actions positive. They say, remember in the meantime that what you put out in the universe, it will come back to you. I don't think he's remembering that. Let's keep going. And see, he doesn't have it yet. If you notice, he doesn't have it yet. Okay, so in the best position we have the hanged man all right and this means that what he sees as the best outcome the best thing to happen for his decision to go live and talk all that trash on the monica finally speaks he sees the world in a radically different perspective he feels like his perspective is important and needs to be heard now he feels like a shock jock to me um and it's funny because does he know that some shock jocks lose their job or trying to purposefully say stupid ish um so yeah, that's what he's, that's the energy he's giving off. And he feels like he had to do, the, you know what, it's it's kind of, well, I'm not getting ready to, it's, it's kind it's as if his energy can pretty much replace another panelist. Um, I'm not going to name any names, but it's like he will fill those shoes of I will do and say whatever you want me to. But see, the difference is that former panelists would say, you know, uh, per, you know, um, exactly word for word what they were told and, you know, do exactly what they were told to do. You know, just very obedient, uh, blindly following. OK, so this one. Uh, Wiley he'll do it but see he he got to you know he got that little man syndrome so he got to do it 10 times bigger harder go stronger you know and and he you know those those type of people they just they hang themselves up uh, no pun intended the hang man okay he thinks that's the best viewing the world upside down different than everybody else he feels like that will get him notice his it, and, and it will it did hello it did we're talking about him but the thing about it is you know you you're trying to be the hang man you might hang yourself you can't go too far and i feel like he he went he went too far and this reading is giving me the energy that he's gonna keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going and, until he falls off of that cliff He's trying to go and get in that tower. His his dumb butt is going to sit up here and try to be like, well, you know what? Um, Maybe we can expand this tower or is there another tower behind this tower? He's just going to keep going and going and going and fall the fuck off before, you know, he can even like really get inside good. That's the energy he gives me. Um, And do we have ADD or anything, I wonder? But because the way his energy, he was just bouncing, you know, I don't, I don't, I, uh, uh. And talking crazy and bouncing and looking all over. And I ain't even talking about, you know, the, the what was in the socket being in different directions. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about the head movements was just really, he's just animated. And, 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 and maybe that's probably him. And I'm sure his audience loved that or whatever. That was just new to me. And it was overwhelming for my, my energy. <coughs> now, he likes being hung upside down but he needs to try to make sure he doesn't hang himself which i think he has no kind of awareness of that so let's look at the clarifier for that 
All right, you guys. So clarifying the now <laughs> this is for clarifying <coughs> the best. All right. His energy for the best outcome. He feels like the hangman is great. Um, being different, unique, and, you know, outrageous shock jockness. Behind that, he has a goal to be, like, worldwide successful. He sees himself as, I, I don't, I don't know a famous shock jock. Oh, oh, Spirit is telling me, um, what's that man's name? Um, dang, that white man with the long curly black hair. I don't even know if he's still got long curly black hair, but he got a little black sidekick um howard last name is howard or no first name howard stern howard stern there it is thank you angels all right um he he sees himself like in that position and i don't even know if howard stern is still popping i don't even know if he's still alive bless my heart but um that's i'm just giving you guys the visual the vision that i'm getting all right and he thinks that looking at everything in every situation in this position upside down and all crazy and everything is what will get him there and like i said i'll break that down a little bit anyway the <laughs> clarification behind that <coughs> this card made me feel instantly like he really needs someone to tell him let me let me pause this music so y'all can get into it you is kind you is smart you is important okay somebody in his life if you're listening to this tell this man you is kind you is smart you is important okay quote straight from the movie the help viola davis said it look it up if you don't know but he needed viola davis in his life and get and, and make him say it with you and give him a hug give him a hug all right now the card referenced his um ancestors who have passed on and, and like i said y'all all these were in reverse except one um they're trying to send him signs as well your ancestors are sending you blatant signs pay attention to the signs they are here to help you. He's not paying attention to the signs once again, because we mentioned paying attention to the signs before. He's been blessed with an opportunity, but he isn't using it to uplift. He's only thinking of himself. Therefore, nothing good will come from it. There it is there. Real quick, real quick. My sages, my sages, my sages, my sages. Please, if you haven't yet, click like and subscribe because there is more to come. There's more to come. Feel free to leave in the comments what you may want to hear, may want me to use the tarot to break down. Um, but there's more to come. So go ahead and click like and subscribe and click the bell so that you'll be notified and all of that good stuff. All right. Thanks. And let's continue. Next up is what he imagines would be the worst to come out of his buffoonery that he did on uh avatars when i saw this i was like oh wow yeah that would be messed up what he feels like is worse <coughs> and again that's my allergies um what he feels like would be worse the worst thing possible out of his uh you know um going hard in the paint his campaign for himself and just working so hard is working hard for because he's working hard for future financial gain and the recognition he wants like worldwide recognition <coughs> but that was in the reverse you guys so what that means is what he imagines is worse is him going up there and I got to give a shout out to Blue Royal Tarot, all right, or either Royal Blue Tarot. My bad, I apologize. 
much love and light to you. Um, but she, she calls it caping and I get it now, you know, so all of his hard work in the caping, um, the kissing butt and just going, and it's beyond kissing butt because he talks so bad about her former panelists as if you would think that he actually knew them, went to school with him and picked on him because of his eyes don't match or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, that's how he had that much venom in him for them. What in the hell is wrong with you? And then I did hear him last night say, you know, I just, I, I had to be a man. I was like a man. I, the man that I am, I went ahead and called, please. And we good now. Really? 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 You think so? Hmm. Interesting. All right. So you didn't want to be a man at first. You wanted to be a man later. After you got in good graces with Monica, then after that you decide to be a man and call her? Hmm. And you talk to her? Shit. You wouldn't have talked to me. Um, anyway, so his worst nightmare as it pertains to his decision to go on there and do all that, talk all that mess, is to do all of that and not receive any benefits from it. Which, of course, you know, if you work really hard on something... Which is why I kind of feel like that was, um, he's overdoing it. He's fake. He's doing too much. You know what I'm saying? At least when the other panelists did it, it still was wrong. It was wrong when that person did it. But they thought that they were being loyal to Avatar Monica. Even though it was still wrong as heck. This fool right here. What is your reason? Which is why we're doing this. He wants worldwide fame. And what's so funny is the things that he was saying, he's actually talking about himself. When he said, they they think they're going to take over your show. They ain't going to take over your They're just trying to use you. They ain't going to take over your show. You've been doing this for eight years. He's talking about himself. He's not talking about them. He's talking about himself. Pay attention to the signs, unlike what he did. Now, let's let's go ahead and look at the clarifier. Show. The meaning of the the meaning of the clarifier that came up for this one, the cards meaning is <clears throat> the energy of someone who will gossip and speak negatively behind a friend's back in order to gain another friend who they feel will benefit them the most. A traitor, you know, go wherever the wind blows, go th this person, th you know, he, he will go where, wherever it benefits him. Wherever, wherever, wherever he feels he'll get the most from. This person, ooh, they just said, is loyal to no one. Is loyal to no one. That's what spirit just dropped down. And, and you know what? <laughs> they playing a song in my head, and I'm going to go ahead and share it. Um, Chris, what's his name? Chris Brown, these hoes ain't loyal. No, they ain't. I'm sick and under the weather. Otherwise, I'd sound I'd sound much better. But um, these hoes ain't loyal is the song they playing. But um, he's not loyal to anyone. Which, I mean, it, it's obvious. It was obvious to me and perhaps to all of you as well. Because someone who can talk that much trash about people who he has, he does not know. And he's going hard in the paint for someone who, who he does not know. It's very obvious that uh, he has different levels of um, dysfunction. And this person will go wherever they feel they need to go that will benefit them the most. Point blank, period. Because he ain't doing this work for nothing. He don't, he don't want to do it for nothing. He's trying to fill it out. You know what I'm saying? So he's telling her, <coughs> he's he's spewing out all this stuff, not just to her, but to the whole YouTube nation. But he's talking about himself. So let's keep going. This one was very, very interesting to me. And um, the most telling. So look at the imagery. And this one is what's to come, all right? And it just says, 
like what this person's energy <clears throat> the goals kind of that what they want to come out of the decision that they made so and again this is about how he was thinking feeling you know what what did he consider and think about right before he went on that live and was talking all that mess about folks that he don't even know and for folks that he don't even know you know it, it's just crazy to me um so this is what what's to come of it this is what he wanted to accomplish what he imagines and visions that that will come and ultimately it's what's to come from his actions okay so he's been watching and waiting for a star to fall within his reach when i say star who he views as a star okay and i don't know what his guidelines are for viewing someone but as you can see there's lots of stars he was watching all of them he can't reach them referring right back to that rod the ace of wands was was within his reach okay so he's reaching and even in that commentary he was reaching okay this man is reaching probably because he's short and i don't know all right i don't know i might be wrong but his spirit is short his energy is short even if he's not short statue or stat whatever you know but um he's reaching he's very reaching he's very thirsty and he's just been watching people the stars the ones who he he figured he feels are big waiting for them to fall so he can reach it now please take your eyes to and also uh that reminds me this is for entertainment purposes only and every single word is alleged and not to be used as facts look at the bar on the bottom it's red bright red anytime you see that the words apply these words that i just said that they're alleged not to be used as facts now back to the picture so the man finally reached and caught a star finally fell he caught it he's going to use it to light his way he's going to put it in that um whatever you call that thing a lantern He's going to put it in there and use it. And then when he doesn't need it anymore, you know, when he can finally see daylight and stuff, he don't need it. He's going to drop it. Okay. All right. Imagery. It's all about imagery. And Spirit told me to use this deck. I mean, the imagery is, is there. You can see it. Now, please drop your eyes down to the snake. The snake is coiled in an hourglass form formation okay the snake as an hourglass this means wily wily allegedly he will wait until the right time to strike like a snake and i don't know if i said this earlier but i know i was thinking it he has like a, a prey um well excuse me I'm, i mean um predator he has predator energy and he thinks he's smarter than everyone and he 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 tries to like placate them he was gauging monica's temperature when he was talking all that mess about they were trying to use monica they were trying to use monica because i don't feel like any of them were trying to use monica the avatar I, I don't and he was just going hard in the paint for that narrative to gauge her temperature see how she felt about it and you know waiting to see if she's gonna say yep they was because they did this 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 is this and see now if she had said that I knew that they were using me because of when they did this, this, and this, then of course he would know, okay, that's a whole list of things that I shouldn't do. Or if I do that, I need to explain to you why I'm doing it. Okay. That's one, one little slick way he, what thing he was trying to do. And then he's trying to see, will she believe anything that he says? Because we all know, like, I mean, they wasn't trying to use her. No, they wasn't. No, they wasn't. I mean, you mean to tell me that, a person plus who quit was trying to use her shut your dumb ass up that's some dumb that's some dumb 
That's some dumb ish. Somebody who want to quit. Because of time constraints and stuff. They trying to use you by quitting. His two plus two is not adding up at all. I don't even know if he's looking at the same page. You know, one, you know, he might can see two pages at one time. I don't know, but his math ain't adding up. And he's gauging, you know, that's what you, that's what liars and users and predators and stuff do. They talk a lot of stuff to see what you'll believe, what you'll do if that happens. Um, and then he wants to get on our good side to try to pretend like as if he wouldn't do that. If I, you know, he feels like if I put them down and say that they're users, they tried to use you, girl. That's what they was doing. I wouldn't do that. See, I, I'm, I'm, I I'm, wouldn't do that. Now, I don't know if that man said that. I'm not saying that he said those words. I'm just saying the, what I saw and observed from him, his behavior, his energy, his words, his intentions, which is what we're breaking down right now. He was gauging her to see he, this is like research study. He's been watching them stars and trying to see who was within his reach. So, apparently, they want me to say took the bait. Apparently, she took the bait. Um, and I'm really surprised. And I don't know why, because I don't know her either from a... a you know, I don't I don't know any of these people personally, just like all of us doing commentary. We don't know them personally. But anyway, I just know what spirit is telling me. And um, but I am a little surprised that she took his debate from him. So it kind of makes me want to ask, you know, who's using who? But she's going to get burned in the end because he he's that coiled snake right there in his photo. Honey, please. Let's keep going. So, the clarifier for this one um, was the the meaning behind the clarifier for this card, this position, um, is he's been invited into the, well, he feels like he's been invited into the inner circle, so he feels like he's already won. That was all he needed. He just needed, like, to get inside, to get inside the door. So, apparently, he's inside the door because he kept saying yesterday, last night, Excuse me. Um, you'll see, you all will see Monica um, Monday, and you'll see me too. So, you know, his foot is in the door, his 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 butt in the door, his arms in the door, you know, his his head, his whole head in the door, you know, um, he's in the door. So he feels like he's already won. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about to go down. That's his spirit. That's how he feels. And here's another note too. Um, with, and this goes along with me explaining how he's gauging, you know, Monica, he's saying all that mess that's not true and he don't even damn believe it. Um, and, and I am so surprised that Plez answered his phone call. Like, oh my God, girl, he was just trying to just, he, he's the type of person, uh, what they call that? A wolf in sheep's clothing, girl. Anything that you, even if you said hi, he he would try to lie and turn it and twist it. Probably say that you came on to him or something. Girl, you don't, you don't, I wouldn't give those type of people the time of day. Because no matter what you do, they're going to twist it and turn it. And, and the thing is, someone who did all of that, they mean you nothing good. They don't mean you any good. Anyway, um... If they feel comfortable enough, oh, I'm sorry, hold on. If they feel comfortable enough talking about you like a dog and not knowing you at all, can you imagine what they would do with a little piece of information? So, be smarter so you don't have to work harder. Shit, you know. Um, back to this. Okay, so what I wanted to say was with him trying to see who, who's falling and, and, and reaching for them stars and using them and waiting to pounce and all of that um, and, and, and gauging Monica's temperature, he has envy for Plez for being given. See, he sees, he's, okay, what happened with Plez and all of this blowing up, he views that as an opportunity 
for him, a person like him, he would have pounced on that and and seen it as an opportunity to to talk and and spin the narrative and just blow this all away. He already sees it as an opportunity for him. Okay, that's what he's doing. He's 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 using what happened with Plez as an opportunity for him right now as we speak. This is how he got in the door. So he's envious of her that he feels like, um, what do you call it? Like handed on a, a platter. Like she was handing an opportunity on a platter to, I guess, go worldwide. He has, he has worldwide dreams, okay? Shock jock worldwide dreams. And he's upset. He's jealous that he's not in that position. So he positioned himself. So he, he see, he's smart. He's smart. Because this little old squirrel or whatever positioned himself. And I don't know. He just reminded me of like a little squirrel. You know, he got a little, like a little squirrel. You know, they come around like they, you know, when you in a park trying to have a picnic and you eat and they come and kind of look at you and get a little close and act like they want something. And you're like, get away from me. You know, he's just like annoying, like a little squirrel. You know, he looked like a little squirrel, too. You know, no harm. I don't mean no harm. Um, But he's upset that she didn't that she didn't pounce and use, you know, that opportunity to go worldwide or whatever. So two things are happening. He felt like I'm going to use the opportunity shit. If you ain't going to use it, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. He's going to use it no matter what. Because even if, you know, Plez was that type of person, then he still would use it and go back and forth with her. You know what I'm saying? So he did it. And then he's going to do something to where he has plans in his mind. He already knows. He sees the end. And, and sometimes the problem with seeing the end, you can't see what's right in front of you. But um, he's going to something like that. He's waiting for his opportunity to clash and blow up because he would have did it all different. But not the way that he's saying, because he's trying to make it seem like they were using her this and that. That's not the case. That's not the case. But but like I said, the bonus card is the energy snapshot. This is the card that shows the energy that the person has within them what they're drawing on what they're using in order to make the decision and the outcome that they want the magician is his energy normally i love the magician love 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 the magician the magician has the power to to create and do and harness and you know just create whatever they want all right he views himself as the magician and if you step back and look, he is doing little magic tricks and stuff because, you know, it's like, hey, this didn't even happen to him. None of this happened to him, but he's managed to get in the door. He, he saw the star fail, the avatar fail low enough, and like I said, low enough for him to reach it. He grabbed it. This is my opportunity. That's magician work right there. Magician. He a magician. He did some tricks and lies light of the hand smoke of mirrors you know um but you know yeah possessing the ability to quickly forge a next level commitment with someone new he's able to do that he did it we saw it all right let's look at this clarifier said he's describing himself let's keep going the clarifier for the energy snapshot that magician i couldn't say it better this is what it says his thoughts move at the speed of light and the hand is quicker than the eye. Sorry, not sorry. I'm going to read it one more time and I'm going to leave it at that. His thoughts move at the speed of light and the hand is quicker than the eye. Sorry, not sorry. No one should underestimate him. He has a plan. And um, so far, he believes in his mind that it's coming true. But here's the thing. There's guides, there's spirit guides, his ancestors who's passed on. They're sending them signs. They're trying to help him. They're trying to tell him you is beautiful. You is kind. 
you is lovely, awesome, whatever that thing that uh you know that that saying is. Do it the right way, but he's not. He's not, and you can never win when you play dirty, Wiley, Mr. Wiley. So he's doing it a different way, and ignoring those signs. He's doing it as a magician. Moving the hand quicker than the eye. Thoughts moving at the speed of light. You know, trying to, you know, trying to trick somebody. Trickster. Trying to, trying to get over on somebody. And and I'm just surprised that it appears that she's falling for it. But then the question is, is she really? Because I believe that she believes that she's a magician as well now. So we might have a two magician showdown now. You know, because if she lets him in and he, like, because... Man, it, it'll be epic. If you guys think this is hot water, his will be scolding. If, if y'all think this is, you know, um, this is a heel compared to he, his, his, his takedown of her would be epic. So let's keep going. One more thing I forgot to mention. Look at the photo the imagery he still has the snake okay the snake is with him throughout his journey all right um whether it coils up like an hourglass for time and when it's time he'll strike but he has the snake with him it's it's around his neck all right look at this imagery then look at that monkey Look at the monkey. There's a monkey there with the money. The monkey has the money. The monkey is holding the money. And I'm going to say this to you guys. If you know anything about narcissism, which also I'm going to just say real quick, I talk a lot about narcissism on my page, unapologeticallysage.com. If you click on the all blogs tab, you'll see the narse in my arse, honey. Click on that and I write about my experiences with narcissists and how to recognize them. Narcissists always have flying monkeys. You'll have to look that up. I'm not going to break it down. I'm doing good with my time. All right. But the flying monkeys, they, you know, they, they, they're loyal and, and they want money. If you pay them, they'll be your flying monkey. They will be your flying monkey. I'm not surprised that there's a snake that he keeps with him. And here we are, we're introduced to his energy that he had, okay, that produced his result. It is a monkey with the pentacle. The pentacle represents material needs, money. It's a monkey with the money. A monkey's with the money. So, there are people who believe that the avatar is a narcissist. I do as well. Narcissist likes to keep flying monkeys around them. He understood that he had to transform into a flying monkey in order to get in. There's this flying monkey. In order for him to get in and get his goals, which is financially driven, there's that flying monkey. And look at his face, the flying monkey's face. I don't know what screen you guys are looking on. I'm recording this on a um, computer screen. But that monkey is sad, but he holding on to that coin. He holding on to that coin, but he like, damn, I got to do a whole lot just to get this one coin. Come on. He looking for whoever he can tap dance and sing for that's going to give him more than just this one coin. So he like, hey, Monica, you want me to be your flying monkey? I'll be your flying monkey. Um, now understand I'm not, you know, first of all, all this is alleged. I'm sure he didn't pick up the phone and say, Hey Monica, you want a new flying monkey? And when I say new, I'm not calling the previous entire panel flying monkeys. Um, but, and it's all alleged, but I'm just saying, look at the imagery of it. Shapeshifter. He can shape and shift and be whoever you want me to be. Uh, so with Monica, he's going to be that monkey because he want more than one coin now. That monkey is very sad looking. The magician looks, um, serious, focused and a little strained and angry. I'd say 
but he's not going anywhere without that snake because there's going to be a time where he has to transform into the snake. The snake is going to come out. He has a snake with him. And that's why we saw that in that previous, you know, imagery where the snake was in the shape of, the, of an hourglass. All right, moving right along. Lastly, you guys, please go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it. All right. And hit subscribe if you want part two. Part two, I will go in depth about his decision and how he feels and what his energy shows currently right now after the nosy ho showdown nosy ho monica's um wily fly monkey to he he fly his monkey self over to Monica for an interview while the other lady is on Nosy Ho. We're going to break all that down through tarot, through tarot, okay? But just understand, I already had this reading planned, and I wasn't going to stop it, wasn't going to not do it. And then all that stuff just happened last night. So I've already done the work for the other one, so it should follow this one soon, all right? Give me 24 to 48 hours. That's what I need from y'all. I also need you guys to click like and subscribe so that you know when I drop that video breakdown. All right. All right. Be safe. Be sure to wash your hands. Thank you. See you soon.